That's right, folks. Using Airshow to record your iOS screen on non-jailbroken devices still works. Hello, folks. It's Rob here at the Video Gadgets Journal with a updated video on Airshoe just to let you know that it is still working despite a few hiccups in recent months. So to prove it, the date is currently Monday the 6th of June, so we're in the height of summer, and this iPad doesn't have Airshoe installed at all on the system. The most reliable and up-to-date link to download Airshoe is still cherryroad.xyz forward slash Airshow. When you tap go on your browser, it will ask you whether or not you want to install the application, which you obviously do. That will then install the application as normal on your iPad, iPhone, or whatever iOS device you are using. And when the app first installs, you won't be able to use it because it will give you an untrusted developer certificate warning. And that's easily solved by going into the settings. And just to prove further that this is working, I have updated my device to the latest operating system, which is iOS 9.3.2. So from the settings, you want to scroll down to profile management and device settings, tap on there, and there will be an option for an enterprise app. And this certificate name keeps changing. This is what it currently is, but it could be different in the future. Whatever it is, what you always need to do is press on the trust button and then on the red trust button to make the application work. And as a perfect example of this, the certificate stopped working for the app when I was recording this video. So all I had to do was wait for the developer to fix it, delete the application, reinstall it from the same source and apply the new certificate. As I've said before, you trust using this app at your own risk, but I've still not had any confirmed reports of this causing any issues. And as you can see on my device, Airshoe is now working. I just need to log back into my account to use the application. That will get the Airshow app up and running. And of course you don't need the show.tv app anymore. So you're ready to start recording your iOS device. And all of this is shown in previous tutorials where you can set the orientation, resolution and whatnot. The most important thing to remember at this point is to make sure that Airshow can access the microphone on your iOS device to record sounds, but I have got a lot more detailed instructions on videos in my playlist, which is in the link in the video description. So once you've gone through all the steps, which is to set up AirPlay and start mirroring the device, it will record. And in the bottom left hand corner, this is the direct recording of what you're seeing through my camera. The sound sometimes isn't synced quite rightly. I've had to do this in post edit to sync the sound up again. And this is done through a desktop editing program. This fancy stuff of me showing a recording on top of my camera recording. I don't know if you can do it on an app on your iOS device, but I would imagine it's very difficult. So if you're asking that question, this is post editing that I've done here to make it look fancy. Anyway, that's proof now that Airshow is still working on a non-jailbroken, completely up-to-date iOS device. If you have questions about this, in the first instance, I will always send you to my full tutorial and the FAQ that I did a couple of weeks ago, but it is still valid for everything that you're seeing with Airshoe right now. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and thank you for the incredible response I've had from these Airshow videos. And if anything changes, I will continue to make more videos to make sure that you're completely up to date. Take care and enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.